we're making the camera the first augmented reality platform. So uh, for those of you who watched us roll out cameras across all our apps and you, know, you wondered what we might have been doing, that was act one. This is act two. Giving developers the power to build for augmented reality in the first augmented reality platform, the camera. All right, so let's take a look at what this is going to look like. All right, so you're going to be able to swipe to the camera, and you're going to start discovering effects that your friends are using and that are relevant to the place you're at nearby. And you're going to be able to scroll through all the effects, and there are going to be a lot of them. Now, we're going to start today with all the basic effects that you're used to. Right? Face masks, art, uh, art frames, style transfers. And now, since this is an open platform, you're going to be able to create your own. And instead of having maybe 10 or 20 options to choose from, uh, you're going to have thousands of options from creators all over the world, from all different kinds of cultures and backgrounds and styles. And this is launching in beta today. Now, this, this is just the first step, though. So we have, we have a, a lot crazier stuff that I want to show you uh, that's going to be coming soon. So now, for, for real augmented reality, you don't just want the ability to do those tools. You also want the ability to have realistic 3D objects. And in order to do that, uh, you need to have a platform that, has, that gives them precise location, a realistic relationship uh, with objects around them in their environment. So there's an AI technique for doing this called simultaneous localization and mapping or SLAM, uh, for those of you in the, the AI community. And um, here's how this works. So you're going to be able to easily create anything you want. You can write a fun message next to your breakfast, and, and it's going to be able to slide onto the table. And since we understand the depth of the table, you saw it was occluded in the right place as it came up. And you're going to be able to pan around, and it's going to maintain its position on the table exactly uh, as if it were a real object in the world. So we can make this more fun. Let's add some, uh, some breakfast sharks uh, swirling around my bowl, uh, some clouds. And you know, there you go. It, it's got the depth right, so when they go behind the bowl, uh, they're occluded. It, it gets the depth of the table and all that. All right, so th there's some pretty involved AI work uh, to, to make this all work. And, and we can do this on a phone. So, uh, now, but we're just getting started. This is, this is just the first one that I want to show you. These are the technological foundations for advanced AR. Let's go to the next one. Now, since we're mapping out uh, these scenes in 3D, right, since we have the depth of an image, we can go from taking a still photo to mapping out a whole 3D scene. So this actually is, was, was taken from a 2D still image in our office in Seattle. And from the still photo, we constructed a 3D scene. And now, because it's a 3D scene, we can pan around. How crazy is that? Crazy. <laughs> All right. We can change lighting. We can turn the lighting down. We can move the lighting from the front of the room to the back. And you can add um, all kinds of effects. You know, we can fill the room up with water if we want. Again, it's got the depth right. Uh, you can add a lot of bouncy balls. We're a fan of bouncy balls. And, uh, and we can fill the room up with Skittles because the future is delicious. 